Well, Thanksgiving is just a few short weeks away, but it's never too early to plan on what you're going to be making for the big dinner. We've got some very exciting stuff for you. He's going to show us how to make all kinds of Thanksgiving food. It's the one and only Rob Roberts. Can you come out here and just show off yourself for a second from Breadsmith? Can you see what he's First wearing snow today? Of the year. It was snowing. Okay. And wait, wait, wait. <laughs> He's got shorts on. That's today. about as high as the leg kick gets. I was say. <laughs> shorts and a t shirt on, and there's snow on the ground. This isn't a t shirt, this has a collar. It's a t shirt. Look at it. Not a you got our arms out. Banded sleeve. No, you know no. what? She needs to get banned from bread after talking back, doesn't she? No. Uh, at least, cho <laughs> at least <laughs> chocolate. That'll I get her. I put it on my side for a reason. Okay, so you've got a lot of stuff going on here. What do you want to start with? Well, let's talk a little bit about holiday stuffing. Mm -hmm. um, I made up one last night. It's on its way over from the bakery now, so hopefully it gets here before the segment's over. Yay! Yay. Too. And we, just, we make either a white or a mixed stuffing in the store. And the nice thing about using a quality bread, it doesn't fall apart as easily mm -hmm. as some of the other ones do. <clears throat> so you put that in a bowl, you brown up about two to three cups of butter and about a tablespoon, excuse me, two to three cups of uh, yellow onion and about a tablespoon of butter. When that's done, add a stick of butter to it. A whole stick. Whole stick. Don't be afraid of butter. Now you're talking. And you do that for about <laughs> seven minutes, just to get it kind of loose. And then you dump in, you take, I bought this at Hornbacher's because it's already halfway there. It's squash crinkle cut, so you just cut it in half or third, because you're looking for little pieces about this big. Okay. So this works out to be two cups, so it's a perfect measure. Celery, do about one cup of that. I dice it up. You add that to your... I, by the way, with your lovely kitchen here, can you get the aroma coming off this burger it's right so, here? It's so mm. delicious, man. Mm. It smells good. Wow. Anyway, so you add it, you put it in there for another, oh, seven, eight minutes, just to kind of crisp tender it. In the meantime... Christy, I know you would love to do this because I know I hated doing it. I had to come up with two tablespoons and one teaspoon at a time, stripping a little leaves off at a time. They have some of those cups now that make it easy to strip your time so that it just falls right into the cup well, or your hands, fingers, too. Fingers, fingers. <laughs> I'm a very tactile guy. <laughs> anyway, then you also take some of, you take about one tablespoon of sage, break off the stem, roll it up, cut into strips, and you add that to it also. Oh, and look, the food is coming right now Yay. as we speak. Yes, that's what we're talking about. So you're adding in those herbs and spices after the bread has kind Correct. of let the butter soak into it. And you stir that into the bread, get it all incorporated. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to add about right here. I usually make my own stock, but this works really well, too. Yeah. About a half a can of this, or excuse me, about, about, about a half a container of this, or a little bit more, depending okay. upon how dry your bread is. Kenny, you want to deliver that over here? Or yeah, so? Kenny! Yeah, Kenny's kind of holding out on us, isn't he? Come on, man. <laughs> and so you, did you make a, I see two different ones, so did you make them two different ways? Wow. Or? Actually, one's going back to the store for the staff because they Ooh, want to try it too. Oh, yum. Oh, no, no, you so get your plate. I, I know, I was just handing you the spoon. So now, look at the color in here. You're getting the green, the we yellow, got you've got God, all sorts of stuff. It smells so good. And that orange, that's Thanks, a little Kenny. bit of that squash that was in there? Yep, that okay, is. Okay, holy buckets. And How many because... people do you think are eating on this Well, you kept plate? holding it there. It's, well, I don't know. I can't help you. <laughs> well, Chris and I will eat Here, off uh, of one plate. No, no, thank no. You, another you, plate. Another you. plate. Oh, this looks fantastic. And you toast the pecans ahead of time. Okay. You can use chestnuts. Yeah, you do. There's pecans more. in here, too? Oh, yeah. Toasted pecans. Mmm. Pretty good, huh? Of course, salt, pepper, and all that. Now, we've got this over here. Mmm. So if you're wondering what to do with your leftovers, why not make a pizza? Oh my gosh. I know, right? I don't think I'd have leftovers. <laughs> if you crack an egg on top, it's a perfect breakfast. Mmm. Mm. This is really good. Oh my gosh. So salty and delicious. I know we were talking about clean eating, but I'm gonna clean my plate if I There's have There's zucchini this on in there. <laughs> I mean, that's right. There you go. Mm. So what are you, what are you uh, doing here now? You made a pizza out of? Turkey breast. Stovetop stuffing. Um, normally I'd use a pan gravy. I did buy the gravy. Because, um, hey, I'm not roasting a turkey today for you. This is, so this is like a leftover pizza is what you're going to exactly call it? Exactly what it is. Thank you, sir. So remind me. So you have the pizza crust. Yep. Well, you have the pizza crust, and you have gravy on top. Okay. You have turkey. Um, you have stuffing. And you also have some cranberry sauce. You can also add a little bit of cut up sage onto it if you want. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an herby um, stuffing I use, so it's got a fair amount of herbs in it. I'm gonna dig into the pizza. Yeah, me too. I'm like ready to go. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. New way to use a pizza. You don't have to make just a sandwich. You certainly can. And you use the same ingredients on a sandwich. I was nervous about the cranberry being on there, but it's actually really good. It's a touch of it brightness. It fits to in it. there. Yeah, it really does. Well, of course, turkey in the holidays, right? I love it. Okay. Do you sell 
That kind of pizza crust at your yeah, place? Yeah, we sell it every day. We have mm. a white one wow. available every day right there. It's refrigerated. You can keep it refrigerated for three days, or we say frozen for three months. Mm. I've used wow. those freezer packs to go into the cities and eat it with my in-laws. That is phenomenal. Okay. That's really good. Anything now, else here? Because I, I do want to make sure we touch on that particular bread right there. Now, this one, mm. every Wednesday is pie day for us. And something we like to do on the weekends, it's, you can also do it the day of, day of Thanksgiving, too. Take a slice of this, batter it up, make French toast out of it. I know you've mentioned that before, but this one is the apple pie bread. Correct. And we vary it by the day. But as you Yum. can see on here, look at all the apples just studding through it. And you can mm. smell it. How's that smell? Phenomenal. Oh. Vietnamese casino cinnamon just makes it sing. And tell them what you have in store for them for the holidays if they want to combine to make some of this. What do mm. you tell us? Well, I think it's going to be a strawberry rhubarb mm. that day, in which case you're getting, I've got to check my calendar. The first one's always apple, the second and the third always strawberry rhubarb, the third is blueberry, and if there's five, it's peach. That's kind of our rotation. Can't go wrong oh with strawberry rhubarb. Oh my gosh, oh, no. this is so good. Okay, <laughs> now, to me, this one just sounds incredible. This is a pumpkin chocolate chip, de chip dessert bread. I call it better than pie. Um, my friend Jeff would rather have this. I'm taking this to him on, on Thanksgiving this year, cranberry orange dessert bread. We can also, if you want to, you can arrange it on your own tray. If you want to, you can pay us to do it. Oh, I got this. And as you can see, it's ready to go. You should try a bite. Okay, I was going to say, do you mind? Is this the pumpkin thing right yep, here? Yep, yep. Oh. Oh. I know yep. I should have tried a different one, but I'm going to try the same one. Mm. That's OK. I already tried the um, cranberry one for you at Larson. It was really good. <laughs> I know, right? Like I said, we don't even bake pie at our house when it comes to pumpkin. I was never a big fan of pumpkin pie until I tried this recipe, and I still wasn't a fan of pumpkin pie, but I love this bread. I love this bread. It's got good moisture. It's got a canola. It's not a butter-based one, so it stays very moist in your mouth. And then we use Calibo semi-sweet chocolate morsels, so you're getting a little bit different flavor profile than just whatever chocolate. Nothing against mm. the other big brands. I like this one. It's what we use in our chocolate chip cookies, our chocolate chocolate chip cookies, our brownies, everything. So good. So I, I want to go... It's like Mr. Food. So mm, it's good. So good. <laughs> I have a quick question about the stuffing, because yeah. I know people can buy the, the breads from you. What makes a good bread for stuffing when people are looking at making it at home? Well, you can certainly use the white. Some people really like white. I like this one. Sometimes I'll combine the two. And about one bag of this is enough to make this recipe, the way everything oh, okay. swells up in it. Um, we use certain breads in here. Certain breads we won't use. We won't use a soft white, soft wheat. It doesn't have enough body. It turns to dust in the bag. So we use rustic. We use French peasant. We use French. We have uh, some multigrain here. We have some Russian rye in here. All sorts of things. So it's, you're getting a nice confetti look, once again, as you look over here at this. Right. So you want those more hearty mm -hmm. breads so yeah. that they can then absorb and hold. Correct. Big thing is hold. Yeah. They've got the body. There's, a, there's enough high proteins in there, the glutens and glottons that knit to hold it together. Mm-hmm. Because no one wants to eat total mush. At least I don't. No. I don't know. Maybe Chris does. I don't. If it's going inside of your turkey, maybe it's not <clears throat> just a side. Maybe if it's actually stuffing the turkey, you want it to hold up against that, mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. Or if you're like me, you do your turkey in the grill, and then you have to do that in the oven. Or if you had another grill, you could do it out there, too. Oh so I don't gosh. stuff mine. because. Are you going to come back and show us how to grill a turkey? If you want to, you can do a special report from my house. We'll spatchcock one. Whoa, I do you know what that is? I don't. What is that? What you do is you flip the turkey over <laughs> and you cut the backbone out. You turn it over and you crack the breastbone so it lays flat. And it cooks faster and it's, uh, you're getting a nice even heat. Whereas sometimes you get the, the dark meat gets a little bit dry or the, uh, the white meat gets a little dry because it's inconsistent. Yeah. This is consistent. So you just throw it on the grill like that and then... Yeah. Laid out? We, yep. we, we may be at yep. your house sooner than you Skin think, Skin side friend. up. Oh, yeah. You can throw a little bit of wood chips in there for a little bit of smoking. It all works out. Wow. See, we're getting all the secrets. Amen. Great to have you here, sir. Uh, if you want to remind us where you're located at so people can stop by. We're at 1617 32nd Avenue South, the corner of 32nd and 17th Street. We're in the same mall as Cold Stone, Bodinger, Best Friends Closet, all sorts of people in there. Great mm. people. Uh, Papa Murphy's is next door to us, too. Matter of fact, they are the ones who supplied this tray for us today. Oh, nice. Hey, hey. <laughs> I keep going back and forth. I can't decide which one I like better. I have, like, savory and sweet in both hands. You're all set. I'm having a whole Thanksgiving meal right now. <laughs> We're going to let Christy uh, eat while we take a quick, very quick break. So stay with us. Much more coming up right after this.